Okay, so I figured I'd make a video just kind of covering how my pad works and how I made it. <laughs> um, so basically, I was bored one day. Um, I saw this big sheet of metal. Apparently came off of a grate to a, a door to our apartment's uh, bike storage. And I was like, hmm, I feel like I can make a pad out of this. And I did. <laughs> so basically what this is, is it works on the principle of Velostat as the sensor. Uh, underneath each one of these is basically a piece of Velostat and tin foil. Uh, pretend this is tin foil. And the way Velostat works is you run a current through it, and depending on how hard you press it, it'll change the resistance. So you can measure that change in resistance via some analog pins on an Arduino. So basically, uh, I have current running through these. And sorry, I just covered these with like some cardstock and I made sure to cover them with some packing tape. So these are like really smooth. Sorry, if the camera's not focusing. Yeah, these are smooth so I can slide over them. Um, it's not that great for sliding, but it does work okay. Um, yeah, V5 in. And uh, what's really cool about this pad is I'm using the entire metal plate as the ground. So that just goes into here on the breadboard is kind of attached on the side there. Uh, got some 1K ohm resistors. Uh, you can probably look up a circuit diagram for this. I'm not going to explain that much. But yeah, I mean, this works great, <laughs> surprisingly, for being like... I mean, I didn't spend any extra money on a lot of these materials, but you could probably do this for 20 bucks. Like, the most you're going to be spending is probably on uh, the wood, if you can't find some. Like, you might as well just find some crappy wood. I was lucky enough to find this metal, but yeah, if you were to spend money on this, it'd realistically be less than 30 bucks. Uh, yeah, just make sure you're using arcade accurate, like, dimensions so that you don't get yelled at, you know, 11 inches, you know what's up. Uh, basically, yeah, I mean, panels work pretty good, especially considering you can make them as sensitive as you want. I was just playing on these, so they're a little dead for some reason. But like, yeah, I mean, I made my up arrow a little bit higher than the rest of them just so I could feel it better. And, you know, everyone wants that super raised up arrow. But yeah.